Hey everybody, Hi. this is Steve. Um, this is my first ever video vlog, video, whatever, video, video. Um, today is January the 13th, 2010. And it's about 11.25, I think. And, um, the reason I'm doing this video thing, sorry, if I don't want to say but the reason why I'm doing this is because yesterday, um, an earthquake happened in Haiti. And at first, I, I, I just assumed that it was, you know, a minor earthquake. I saw it on Facebook on somebody's status, you know, that, um, an earthquake happened in Haiti. So I thought it was just a minor earthquake or, you know, nothing major, nothing too disastrous. And then I saw that there was a tsunami warning for the Bahamas, Cuba, and the Dominican Republic. So I was like, what? But it still didn't hit. I was like, yeah, you know, um, until I went on Twitter and people were like, oh, you know, this building is collapsed, this building is collapsed, this building is down, a hospital collapsed, a school collapsed, um, government offices are, 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 are gone, the UN office is gone, and then I started to panic. But I was still hoping that it was just, it was just <laughs> infrastructural damages, but not loss of life, or there was loss of life, just very limited. Until I was getting ready to eat dinner, and the pictures started to come in this time, and they had pictures of people just in the street, and um, I was like, okay, you know, but it still didn't hit me until I saw a picture of the National Palace. I saw a picture of the cathedral. I saw pictures of people stuck in buildings. I saw pictures of buildings on top of a car. I saw that um, the marketplace was gone. And numerous buildings were gone. And at that moment I panicked. Because that's when it really hit home that this is not a minor earthquake. I am in Canada right now. I have family in the Bahamas. But the majority of, well, I wouldn't say the majority, but we have a lot of family members in Haiti. We have a lot of family members in Port-au-Prince. So I was trying to call the Bahamas so I could get in contact with my mom to see if she had heard anything and the lines were busy. There was no connection going into the Bahamas. Until finally when I got in contact with her, she said that my uncle, her brother had just left for Haiti the day before. So he went to Haiti on Monday. And he and his wife were both in picture of you. And... Have you heard anything from them? No. Not yet. I haven't heard anything from anybody in, in Haiti. Like, nobody. My grandma, my aunt, uncles, cousins, nobody, friends. Nobody. We haven't heard anything. Um, I'm, I'm trying to keep an open mind. I'm trying to be optimistic because no news is good news so far. But it, 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 it still, the devastation didn't hit me as much as until I saw the National Palace. What is this National Palace? Okay, the National Palace is like a fort. It, 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 it's a... It's how do I explain it? It, it? it represents Haiti. It's where, um, it's a monument. It's been there from God knows how long. Um, the cathedral, the National Cathedral, has also been there from, you know, how long. Um, okay. To see it, I, when I saw, when I saw the National Palace, when I heard that, I heard, first of all, I heard that it was destroyed. But I just thought, you know, aside of it, I just thought um, minor damages. But then I saw, I saw it for myself, like I saw the pictures, and that's when it hit home that this was just something that 
we never saw yet. We we had yet to, you know, we had yet to experience. He has been through back to back hurricanes on top of floods, on top of economic instability, on top of political instability, on top of um just disaster, migration, mass migration going into other countries. Um, we've had immigration problems, people just leaving. We've had food crisis, we've had everything, but this is just... It's hard to explain, because now, through all of those things that I mentioned, the hurricanes, the floods, um, the palace was still there. The cathedral was still there, the hospitals were still there, the schools were there. So if there was a problem, if there was a national emergency, you could go to a government agency. But now, when you have the president of a country whose home is destroyed, it tells a lot about the destruction that's there. Um, I spent two days just crying. I, I, I have yet to go outside because, like I said, we still haven't heard from her. We still haven't heard anything from anybody. Um, um, excuse me, do you think this is a sign of the end of the world, or is it just a It's sign? always happening, you know, and, and that's, a, that's something that bugs me, that people use this, two things that bug me over this situation, one, that people all of a sudden were claiming, oh, it's because of the witchcraft, it's because of the voodoo, it's because... But isn't it true Christian. that you guys do... We're that? not the only country. Brazil does it, the Dominican Republic does it, um... Cuba does it, Mexico does it. It's not as if we're the only country in the world that partake, um, participates in voodoo ceremonies. And then on the other hand, it's not the entire country. So I don't think that God has a little black book where he looks at it and he's like, oh, they do voodoo. You know, I'm going to zap them. Or, oh, they do this, I'm going to zap them. God isn't like that. He's merciful, he's just, he's loving, he's kind. Um, not saying that rich people are supposed to take advantage of it, but it's easy to claim that some it's because of somebody's sin why they're suffering until you're in that position. Because Job, <laughs> when Job was in his position, he he left, he lost his kids, he lost um his home, he was sick, and the first thing that came to people's mind was, oh, he must have done something, you know. So it's easier to say to say that when you're not in that position. The other thing that bugged me was, I kept hearing this, Haiti, the poorest nation in the Western Hemisphere. I'm like, isn't there any way, any other word that these media people could use? Well, you, we all know about the media. You uh, cut me off and you're telling me to wrap up. We all know about the media, how they will do anything to make anything true. Yeah, but to me, true. I, it, it, you, 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 you're showing just how limited your vocabulary is. I mean, for every sentence to say the poorest country in the nation in, in the Western Hemisphere, come on. How about Twin Island Nation? How about the First Black Republic? How about the Pearl of the Antilles? Um, how about a country that has so many resources? How about a country that is going through a rough time but is still hanging in? How about a country where the people are survivors, where the people have survival skills? How about a country that is still going, you know, to me, don't kick a man when he's down. And that, that's what gets to me. Focus on, on, on the issue at hand, and right now the issue is getting help in there, and just trying to restore or give a good word, but don't, like, come on, call a country in the Western Hemisphere that is so outdated. Find a new word, find a new phrase. Um, Okay, so that's the end of my rant on that. But I just want to thank everybody who called, who emailed, Facebook, Twitter, me, um, to say that they're praying for my family and I. It, 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 it's hard. It, 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 it's so hard. It, it, I don't know. But through it all, patience, I got you.